Good afternoon. Thank you for introducing my presentation. Uh, I'm a graduate student, master level in Brazil, and I'm going to present here some of our initial results with this new set of the features based on voltage current trajectory. Well, I think that most of you know this concept, but the power signature involves, in general, the energy consumption patterns of a device. These two waveforms, these two examples, shows two signals that we measure when we connected a device in, in a typical voltage installation. The first signal shows just one load is connected at this time. The, si the second signal shows uh, two devices connected here and here. In both cases, it's possible to recognize patterns in connection of load and over time. Part of the new procedures includes the power signature allowing the detection oper operation from aggregate load measurements. The methods can be based on signature analysis of transient state, steady state, or both states. One method to use uh, for the files is the VI trajectory. This method consists in plot one cycle of voltage per one cycle of current, obtained a shape. This figure shows some VI trajectories, such as a drill and lens. From the shape of the VI trajectories, some features are struck, such as area in green and red, area of uh, right and left segments in red, peak of middle segment is B in figure, slope of middle segment is here, in figure. Current span is obtained with this equation <coughs> and variations of admittance obtained for this equation. And asymmetry, in this case, this load is asymmetry in blue and pink. Looping direction is a direction of points in trajectory. Self-intersection is red point. Curvature of mean line is this. And the distance between the maximum and minimum points. This and this. And in our work, we propose new features for the VI trajectory. And we use the VI curve obtained in transient state, which is one of the contributions of this work. So, we explain the features. Angle between the maximum and minimum points consists in obtaining this angle, and this angle. The feature overshoot consists in measure the distance between the maximum uh, distance and curves in steady state and transient state. Using the difference between distance in minimum points and maximum points, the difference between points uh, is a um, different difference and Two curves. The same applies for the angles. 
length is the sum of all points in the trajectory. All points in orange in trajectory. The maximum distance is the maximum vector using all points of the trajectory and the centroid. The variations of signal slopes are the number of variations of positive to negative in curve. Mean slope value is the mean of all slopes, each two points in curve, with the trajectory centroid, three features are proposed. First, the distance between the orange and centroid, DC in this case. The angle, the second feature is the angle formed between the centroid and orange, this in figure. And the third, uh, the third is the distance between the centroids with using the curves in transient state and set state. In our tests, we use four different data sets. First, the complete on of low delivery with 800 waveforms and 42 appliances. We name it cool. Um, the second plug load applies identification data set with almost 2,000 2, waveforms and level 11 appliances. We name it plain. And we have results with uh, two new data sets of our research group that will be presented tomorrow. The first data set is a simulated data set with 28 appliances, and the second with 26 appliances contain real waveforms. These two new data sets include uh, multiple loads. Well, after extract all features of the data set, 80% of data was used to test the classify, to select the, the parameters, and 20% of data was used to test the classify. This is a typical procedure in machine learning methods. In the classification stage, we used three normally used classifiers uh, in order to compare the results. KNN, Randall Forest, and support, support vector machines. They are all based on uh, supervised classification, as presented in figure. The table presents all results for all data sets and all classifiers. This is the state of RT of VI trajectories, and all features is a combination of the proposed features and the state of art features. So we can observe for the results for cool data set, the all features present the results similar for the state of art results, but the others data set the proposed features increase in classification performance. The results are presented in terms of the mean and the standard deviation of 10 different combinations of training and set uh, and test sets. We also perform the feature selection methods in order to reduce the number of the features, keeping the performance, classification performance, and two, two methods are tests. 
The sequential forward selection, we start with empty set and it adds one feature at a time. And the selection, backward selection, uh, of the, it starts with all features and remove one feature at a time, excluding the feature that produces the maximum performance from the set. These are the results for feature selection with cool data set. We can observe the results are similar, but we can consider the relevant results this because the number of the features and this because the higher performance and uh, we obtained five features. The five features are area and curvature of mean line and the three proposed features angle between the maximum and minimum points, maximum distance, and difference between the angles in transient and set state. So the main conclusions are set of new features extracted in steady and transient states with the VI trajectors, results with high occurrence with the proposed features, above 99% for some Data sets. The feature selection reduces the number of features, keeping the accuracy. Proposed features are kept in final results. All codes can be downloaded in my GitHub. And for feature works, the authors intend to use the proposed features to classify data sets with more multiple loads as well as embedding the solution in a general purpose hardware. Thanks for your attention.